Gameplay playing what can only be described as a C64 Godzilla knockoff licensed game. Should probably explain that the Muncher is the uh, Godzilla knockoff character in the advert for a set of uh, fruit flavored uh, sweets you used to buy. You know, in tubes they were square, uh, and they were called Chewits. And uh, apparently these Chewits were the uh, only thing that would uh, quell the hunger of this Godzilla-like uh, thing. I don't know if the adverts for Chewits came before the arcade game Rampage. That would be quite an interesting thing for whoever owns a copyright for those uh, characters. I don't know if they still sell Chewits, they still sell Frutella. They kind of taste the same. As long as you don't get the ones with 30% less sugar, because 30% uh, less sugar, you know what that means? 30% more fucking bollocks, not 30% more actual fruit. So I can't put 30% more artificial flavouring in there, so that won't work. Not really sure what else you could put in there, but anyway. That's why I don't like orange squash anymore. Because uh, they all have sweeteners in them. Now, uh, sugar's been around for fucking, uh, well, longer than uh, human beings. Or the missing link. Sweetness, however, mm. they have an inflammatory response uh, for your body, so uh, in a way that sugar does not. So. The player controls a large and angry prehistoric monster, aka Godzilla knockoff, who is out to destroy Japan. Oh, it just happens to be Japan. Why didn't they just make it about the Chewits thing? They've run out of Chewits in Japan and uh, and so the beast is on the rampage because he's hungry. But like just after you had a bit of fucking... Uh, uh, let's see, well it won't be kebab. Yeah, maybe uh, three quid's worth of Chinese food which is all fucking noodles and a bit of sauce. He feels hungry again after eating a building. Okay, I'm just trying to work out that last sentence on the uh, first paragraph there. Anyway, uh, in search of the lost eggs. Da, 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 da. Okay, space for more. Naturally, the armed forces are out in force. You must battle your way through the city. Uh, da, da. Oh, I forgot to mention you control the uh, Godzilla knockoff. You'll come across your lost eggs. Once they have been found, you should search for a nuclear waste dump. Not only are these. Da, 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 da. As Japan is such a small place. I'm only reading the instructions to see if they ever mention the Chewit sweets. If you are to see, you must defeat all three enemy monsters. Finally, you are one of your descendants will reach the, the harbour and will sail off into the sunset. Select stage, one, two players, joystick, keyboard, start game, fire also starts. Uh, joystick port one. I hate this game already. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, we work it out, mate. So they have no fucking mention, let alone incorporation into the uh, game story and therefore the gameplay design. 
of these uh, things called uh, tuits. Yeah, the uh, the artwork is not a bad rendition of the uh, cover art, which is a bit rubbish. The actual uh, cover art for the double cassette case. I don't know where that cassette is. I only have one copy. It was actually quite hard to find even uh, ten years ago. So I just thought, well, this one's cheap. The other ones that do come up are not cheap. I'll have this one. I can always put it in a new case. Which is where those, uh, I think I bought about 50 or 60 brand new copies of some uh, Amstrad CPC game. And they were less than a quid each. And I just took uh, loads of them out of the actual double cassette case, which was obviously brand new. Right, yeah, uh, no, 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 uh, should we have that? Yes, and yes for that. That saves me having to reload it, so we don't actually have to do the level skips. Uh, what a shit title page. Apart from the redefined fonts, it's uh, typing quality there. Get on other channels, mate. Shh! No, you're not lagging it. Wait. Cat's on the blob wanting to come in, but I can't have her open the door because killer will come in. Poor Jonesy is uh, already uh, still recovering from a uh, bit of regurgitation. So there's no sprite multiplexing going on at all, I would imagine. Right. So the controls are not bad, it's just I wish they'd done a sprite multiplexer or something. It's just too damn blocky for a free colour sprite. It is three colours, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, green, light green, and uh, yeah, that's right. Because one sprite can only have three colours. Yeah, it's a three colour sprite. Ah well, we've given uh, pixels a side of dinner plates. I don't know how I did that actually. Baby back ribs in it. I, I don't know how he uh, fired. You, know, you hold down the fire button for uh, two seconds. Why can't I get him this time? That was a bit of a Come here, little bastard. So the background graphics are very shit, actually. I preferred it when it was just fucking yellow on the bottom and blue above it. Yeah. The computer seems to do that by itself, because I pushed up. As if tiny little bullets the size of one pixel would actually uh, do anything to science people. Well, he, before he was actually attacking it. Okay, so you must have to eat more. So his tail is doing that damage, right. So I don't understand why it's not eating the helicopters anymore. So it's rubbish graphics, average sound. Um, game engine coding is alright, nothing special. 
which it means it's above average on the C64. There's no mention of the Chewits at all. That is kind of like Double Dragon and Rampage combined, sort of. Did I just lay an egg? So he eats his own eggs. I don't understand how he did it that time. And not. So the controls are very fussy. Yeah, I think we've seen enough for this level. Um, yeah, I would uh, Nintendo Village. That's interesting. It's a bit like Tetris and Rampage and Double Dragon kind of mixed together and the graphics are about as uh, oof, uninspiring and uh, technically underwhelming as Double Dragon. Fuck it, and the uh, controls are very iffy so... The sprites are exactly the same three colours then. I didn't make him do that, that's just a, yeah the controls are a bit crap. So Nintendo Village is shit. Don't quote me out of context on that one, you bastard. Yeah, well, I think we've seen enough of this game. It's all bullshit. Right, I've seen the tank sprites before, so the next bit after that. And same rubbish graphics on the background. do that then. This game is so shit even my cat is complaining. So do, I mean the only reason you have to knock down the buildings as annoying as it is is because that's where the fucking uh, things are hidden that you have to collect so can jump straight up as well. I'd rather play Rampage if I'm honest. Yeah, you know, the scrolling doesn't add anything to the enjoyment. get to have a few baby back ribs as well but uh, looking at the size of him 
They're about as filling as the ones you get in the uh, those chicken shops. Not KFC. Not not remotely franchised either. Right, it said something about fighting other monsters. That's really the only thing I want to see now. See, last chance game. Yeah, it's not looking good. <clears throat> Exactly mate, as if tiny little bullets like that would do fuck all to something that big. Quick before you lose a life. So that's not a level where you're fighting another beast. Uh, and the background graphics, although they're different. So I know... This is almost acceptable, this... This is sort of uh, 1983 quality backgrounds in multicolour mode with only four colours. They almost work. Doing the fucking shaken vac. The bleak, silent ending says it all. Really, what a crap game. <laughs> 